Hello everyone, this is Karen Swat from Jesus to My Rescue Ministries and what an honor to be sharing with you again from God's Word. There's something really pressed on my heart for this new year, uh, something that I have experienced of late. Many people ask for prayer. Many people ask us to go and pray for people in hospital who are terminally ill. And then often it happens that you come to people and you find out that because they've had really a lot of challenges from a medical perspective, they have realized that life is short and then they give their lives to Jesus and, and now they are in a relationship with Christ. And I'm grateful for that. But my question today is, why do we have to wait until we get sick or until we are challenged through whatever form it might be and then we realize but there is a God, there is a Jesus and I need to be in a relationship with him. And my challenge today was, you know, how many times do we sugarcoat things because it's a sensitive topic and then we just don't talk about it? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not the kind of person, and everybody who knows me will tell you, I'm not the kind of person who runs up to you and say, if you are not saved, you won't go to heaven. No, I don't do it like that. I live Christ. I live my relationship with Christ out so that other people can see his love, can see his character through who I am, because that's the decision I made. What I am saying is, how many times, and I was there, so I'm speaking from experience, how many times do people say, I grew up religiously, I went to church and Sunday school, we are from a religious family, and we practice religion in our house. Yet, the decisions that people make does not reflect Christ. You understand what I'm saying? So, we know God, we know of Jesus, we know the Bible, but we don't live Christ. And to live Christ means that I have him inside of me. The Holy Spirit breathes inside of me. He's taken over my thoughts, my actions, my decisions. He is my life. Does that mean I'm perfect? Absolutely not. Does that mean there are no attacks? Uh, trust me, there are even more. Does it mean that I'm perfect? No, I make mistakes every single day. But I've been made righteous through Christ and I'm no longer under the law of sin and death. So, my question today is, why do people wait until something drastically happens and then call on, on, on Jesus to be saved? I want to tell you Jesus is real. He's alive. I spoke with him this morning. And I'm telling you, he's alive. And he wants to be in a relationship with people. He doesn't just want to be in the word of God next to your bed. No, he wants to be alive inside of you. He wants to be in a relationship with you. He wants the word of God to become alive in your life. That's what he wants. So my question today is, are you saved in Christ? Straight out. That's my question today. Because if you are still only saying, I am in religion, but I'm not in a relationship, I've never physically asked Jesus Christ to come and live in my heart, I want to encourage you today. That is the next step to take. I want to read to you from John 14, verse 6. And Jesus is speaking here, and it's very clear. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's Jesus' words. You want to get to the Father? In other words, you want to get to heaven? You go through Jesus. That's the only way. Now, many people can say, I don't want that. Um, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in God. I want to tell you today, this is your choice. It's a personal choice and nobody can force you to do it. But I can tell you today, from the moment that I made that decision, my life changed. From the moment people in, in countries where they are beheaded because they say they stand for Jesus, they don't even care if you chop off their head or if you kill them. Why? Why are they fanatical for Jesus, prepared to die for him if he's not real? Why? Because they've had an encounter with him. They have him in, his, in their hearts. The Holy Spirit speaks to them in their hearts. So I want to encourage you today, don't go into the rest of 2019 and you have not been saved in Christ. I want to encourage you. So if you've never given your heart to Jesus, 
It's about a prayer. It's about speaking to Jesus Christ, asking Him to come and live inside of you, to take over your heart, your thoughts, your actions, and your decisions. It's to ask God in the name of Jesus then to forgive you for the sins that you have done. And it's from that day forth to give yourself over to the Holy Spirit of God to come and take over every area of your life, to spend time in God's word and to get to know his heart, to go out there as the Lord says, go and make disciples so that others can hear this good news and experience this freedom. So that's my encouragement. If you need further information about this or if you need to um, say a prayer with somebody, please go onto our website, www jesustomyrescue.com and click on accept Jesus today. I want to say a prayer with you. Father, thank you in Jesus' name for who you are. Jesus, thank you that you live in my heart. And today I pray for people out there who know that they have to make this decision but never have. I pray that they will take this time to be still and to invite you, Jesus Christ, to invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and live inside of them. For you are alive and you are real. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. 